subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, our first machine learning model. What's the name of that model is linear regression. So for better understanding of this model, for better understanding of this model, the maths that required for this model, we already discussed that mathematics in our last classes. So please watch those videos and come back here. Let's take an example and understand what this model is. The example which we consider here is a tip amount prediction data set. This example we are using it from our first class. So what's this data set is we are having a bill amount and tip amount data. So from this data, we have to predict the tip amount based on the bill amount. Okay, here this data set is having a two columns, bill amount and tip amount. So we can represent this data in two dimensional coordinate space. This concepts we already discussed. So we can represent this data in a two dimensional coordinate space. How we represent this data in two dimensional coordinate space? X axis is having a bill amount and y axis we take a tip amount for 500 bill amount we are having a tip amount of 45 so we made a data point here like that we plotted all the data so in our first class we discussed that what's the goal of machine learning uh, is to predict the future data based on the collected data this is what we discussed in our first class in order to do prediction machine learning algorithms follow three steps what are those steps first collect the data based on this collected data we have to identify a mathematical formulation and use this mathematical formulation for predicting the future data points so let's understand with an example the data we collected we collected some data this is the data we collected for simplicity of mathematics we collected only four data points in reality we will collect thousands and thousands of points okay we collected some data based on this collected data we have to identify a mathematical formulation so the mathematical formulation which we have to identify in this model linear regression model is we have to identify a line that passing from this data let's assume that z1 is a line that passing from this data this line is z1 and the equation of the line is z1 y is equal to 0.1 x plus 2 how we identify this line we'll understand this in our next class let's assume that we identified a line and the equation of that line is 0.1 x plus 2 so we identified a mathematical equation line equation with this line equation we have to predict the future data points how we predict that suppose a new customer came into our restaurant and he made a bill amount of 500 now we have to predict the tip amount how much he will give how we predict we got the bill amount what's the bill amount means we got the x value substitute that x value here 0 0.1 into 500 which is 50 plus 2 so our predicted value is 52 this is how we predict the future data points okay i repeat it again what's the three steps involved collect the data based on this collected data we have to identify a mathematical formulation the mathematical formulation which we are considering here in this model is identify a line maybe mathematical formulation changes from model to model in this model we are considering identify a line with this mathematical formulation we will predict the future data points okay so the next question you get into your mind is why this line why z1 from here thousands of lines passes one line will be like this one line will be like this thousands of lines passes from the data why we chose z1 why not other lines from this thousands of lines we will have only one line which is the best line only one line which is the best line how to identify this best line which line is the best line we have to pick the best line 
first understand which one is the best line let's take an example and do some mathematical calculations and understand which one is the best line then in the next class we'll understand how to pick this best line so in this class we will understand which one is the best line okay let's take an example this is our collected data bill amount and tip amount tip amount i am calling it as y means these are the actual data collected from real customers one came into a restaurant and he made a bill amount of 500 he has given the tip amount of 45 this is actual data from this actual data we identified two lines for understanding which one is the best line we are considering two lines z1 is a line and z2 is a line the equations of z1 is y is equal to 0.1 x plus 2 and equations of z2 is y is equal to 0.108 x plus 2 we made a small change so in these two lines we have to identify which one is the best line for understanding that so we collected the data and now these are the actual values we are doing some calculations we are predicting the data based on the lines let's say y z1 is the value what's this value we predicted the value based on z1 means means 500 what's the value predict using z1 substitute 500 here 0.1 into 500 which means 50 plus 2 what's the predicted value based on z1 if a bill amount of 500 means 52 that's what we wrote here for 500 what's the z1 52 for 600 substitute 600 in 0.1 x 60 plus 2 62 62 the same way what are the predicted values of a z2 line those we wrote here substitute 500 here in z2 what's the value we got here is a 0.108 x x means 500 plus 1 we got a value of 55 for 500 we got 55 and for 600 we got 65.8 for calculation simplicity we are eliminating this 0.8 we have to keep this 0.8 but for calculation simplicity we are taking eliminating this 0.8 means 65 65 so this is the predicted values based on yz1 so now actually actual tip amount is 45 z1 predicted 52 means what is the difference between actual and predicted 45 is the actual value and i predicted 52 what is the difference 7 is the difference if the difference between the actual and predicted is large means this line is the worst line if the difference between the actual and predicted is small this line is the best line this concept we use you understand i repeat it again if the difference between actual value and predicted value is large the line which we considered is the worst line if the difference between actual and predicted is small the line which we considered is the best line okay so the difference 45 minus 52 the difference we call it as we predicted a value here for 500 on z1 that actual value is this a difference we call it as d1 this difference we call it as loss so what we have to do here we have to identify loss for all the data points all the data points that's what we did here we identified loss for all the data points we predicted this value now what we have to do we have to identify the loss how we identify the loss difference between actual minus predicted 45 minus 52 we got minus 7 57 minus 52 we got 5 57 minus 62 we got minus 5 69 minus 62 we got 7 we identified the loss what we are doing next we are squaring this loss why why we are squaring this loss we will understand this end of this section okay why we are doing squaring so we will understand this by the end of this class okay so squaring means 49 5 25 minus 5 whole square means 25 7 whole square means 45 49 
So sum them all of this, sum up all of this, what we got is 148. This is the sum of all the losses. Means we calculate loss for all the data points, we square them up and we sum them up. This is what the loss we got. The same thing, repeat this for yz2. What's the loss? 45 minus 55 minus 10, 57 minus 55, 2, 57 minus 65 minus 8, 69 minus 65, which is 4. What we have to do next? Square them up. 10 square 100, 2 square 4, 8 square 64, 4 square 16. Sum them up. 184. What's the loss we got for yz2? is 184. What's the loss we got for yz1 is 148. Which one is having the minimum loss? Which is minimum in these two values? 148 is the minimum value. So from these thousands of lines which passes from this data, we have to identify a line that is having the minimum loss that is having the minimum loss that's the best line you understand that's the best line which is having the minimum loss whatever the steps we followed here let's keep it into a mathematical equation so what we did here is we predicted the value after prediction of this value we are subtracting it from the actual value means y minus yz1 this is predicted this is actual value and we are squaring it this step we are repeating for all the data points and summing them up means sigma means sum in our mathematical equation sigma means sum them all this i is equal to 1 to n keep it zi y z i you understand we we made the difference we predicted the value and we keep the difference from actual value and we are squaring it and we are repeating this on all the data points this value should be minimum in mathematical point of view how we wrote this how we write this is arg min this type of problems we call it as optimization problems we have what's this terminology means minimum we have to identify minimum of this value we have to identify minimum of this value this type of problems we call it as optimization problems how to solve these problems we will understand in our next class for now i don't understand what's this equation means and we left with the topic why we are squaring it let's check uh, don't square the values and sum them up minus 7 plus 7 cancel out 5 minus 5 cancel out what's that mean our loss is 0 means our line is passing exactly on all the data points is that happening here no so for that reason we are doing squaring because if the point is above the line if the point is above the line we will get negative value if the point is below the line we will get positive value so loss we should not consider the minus value that's why we are doing squaring here minus 7 whole square then we will eliminate this the minus value we will get a value of 49 if you keep that minus and we are summing them up, we are not getting into a good mathematical formulation which required for our model. That's why we are doing squaring and then summing up. Summing up. Okay. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.